Paradise, Louisiana with Gary Rasponi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana would also like to thank these sponsors. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Chain, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores, we have more than you expect. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana, Farm Bureau Insurance, Louisiana Fish Fry Product, Demco, First South Farm Credit, Area Wholesale Tire Company, the tire programs for tire dealers. Welcome to a pre-Christmas edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rusponi. I'm Don Dubuque, and I thought we'd call this There's No Place Like Home edition after where well, I came from. Well, we will welcome you back from Kansas, but you brought him like to brought all that cold weather with you. Well, there was enough of it up there to go around for a lot of folks, and we did bring some of it back. But we also brought back some pheasants, some Canada geese, some speckle belly geese, and some mallards. It was a pretty good trip, but it was a tough trip. I'll tell you a whole lot more about it, and I understand you had a very nice trip to the honey break. Actually, they call it an experience up there in Jonesville. Oh, yeah, that was there. You saw that on TV when you got in early this morning, huh? Yeah. But let me tell you, Don, we had more than that. We've been a very busy young young man. Me and Gary Krause have been traveling an awful lot. I, I made a, a hunt at the, the Port Barry Hilton again with my brother, Duke Landry, mm -hmm. and David Ratcliffe from Central. Uh, middle of the week, we did real good. You know, we had 16, we should have had 20, 24. We just didn't shoot well. I was shooting cameras, so we're going to apologize for some of that right now. You said never apologize, but I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> when, when Gary Krause or, or them other camera guys are not around, it, it's a struggle. Sometimes. Well, you don't apologize. You just congratulate the Ducks when they win. You don't <laughs> yeah. apologize. Oh, I'll tell you what. Shooting was good. But old Duke Landry, he's a, he, he's a pioneer. But I'm telling you what, he just goes after it. He's so excited. He's so fun to be with. And it's always good to have – one of the top chefs around, and you know, doesn't he, hurt. Doesn't hurt. Duke Landry is a was former world champion, Austin Shucker. You know, he brings all that stuff to the lodge when he comes. So we eat seafood gumbo, oysters, and mm -hmm. uh, he and he's building a new grill now. You know, that something like you say Drago's, I say Drago's. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be the same thing. He's got a whole bar right now. It's gonna be grilling oysters. Very good. We'll pay it a visit. Uh, and then again, like you said, uh, we made a, a trip. To wish to fish, that last one, usually always cold, down on the feet. And boy, the good Lord blessed us. It was supposed to be raining. Rain held off till we got uh, in, in the Seaway Marina. Uh, Gary and I were down there with two different boats. The, all the kids from the Miracle Eve caught fish. When I tell you what, all the captains have been catching limits in the pen. You know, I really didn't realize. I remember they had a spring run, but I didn't realize they had a fall run. They say the menace all come in and there, and uh, it, it was a great trip, great fun. We're going to give you some this week, some next week is a tease. And then uh, I'm, I'm real anxious to see how them pheasant was. And, Don, I, I want to uh, tell you a little thing right now. I, I, I want to dedicate this show to a legend, icon, not only in the musical field but in the outdoor field, duck call. Eli Haydell passed away a few weeks ago, and uh, – we didn't have time enough to give it justice, but we will give it today. Eli, this is dedicated to you, your boys, and your family for all of you've done for duck hunters and, and all hunters in the state of Louisiana. Yeah, very sad news, and uh, he will be missed by the outdoors world. Also, we got some good news. This is the month of December, and that means high school football championships. You know, I, I, I was going to let you lead in. You know, I, we want to congratulate all the teams that made it to the dome, and there's a bunch of them. There's mm -hmm. a lot, about 18 of them now. That's the way they got it to select and not select. But we got a mission one since the man sits in here and he follows. He's a true alumni. Brother Martin made it. I mean, Brother Martin. <laughs> Ooh, get in trouble, huh? <laughs> Rumble made it back. I Let's was, get it straight. Purpose. Let's get it. Yeah, it was an up and down year. Uh, it got so bad, Coach Jay Roth took the R's off their helmets as an insult and told them, until you earn it, you won't get those back. I'm sure they got both R's, Rummel and Raider, back on as they beat St. Aug to make their way to the playoff. Well, we got a statewide show. I don't want to leave nobody out, but we got some Baton Rouge here. We got them from North mm -hmm. Louisiana. We got them from all over the state. They made it over there to the Dome. Congratulations, all your high school teams. And let me suggest that you stay out of the outdoors one time and go follow your local team and go to the Dome and watch high school sports. 
the best in the country. If you look around right now, all the high school football players, college players that, are, that come from Louisiana, you know, per capita, I don't think nobody can match Louisiana football. All right, we've got a busy show, a lot to cover. We'll be right back to do it here on Paradise, Louisiana. When you're ready to really enjoy life at a slower pace, become a landowner. First, South Farm Credit specializes in financing and refinancing land, but not just for farmers. They offer loans to purchase timber land, hunting and fishing, or recreational property. Their experience in land, timber, and loans set them apart from standard lending institutions. Contact a First South Farm Credit loan officer for more information. First South Farm Credit, a specialized rural land investment lender helping you realize your dream. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. We build tires, but not tires like anybody else. We build Cooper tires for people, not just cars. People who are chauffeurs and shuttle pilots, heavy haulers and heavy hitters. More than what your Cooper tires can do, it's about what you can do with your Cooper tires. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. I can't believe y'all brought me out in this blind and we ain't got no food. Man, I'm hungry. Don't worry, Gary. This will be over quick. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor, Raising Canes and Todd Grays, a real Louisiana sportsman and conservationist, with true aim and sure shot, giving back to Louisiana. Good job, girl. That's a better retrieve than any duck. Canes, the official chicken in Louisiana outdoors. These engines run for thousands of hours to prove with 20% more cleaning agents than before, Shell nitrogen enriched gasoline. No, the gasoline protects your engine better! Awkward. Try Shell nitrogen enriched gasolines. No other gasoline protects your engine better. Visit Cracker Barrel convenience stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and Gary, there's a very famous line in the movie that says, Toto, we're not in Kansas anymore. And I find myself telling my dog, Gracie, we're not in Kansas anymore. And thankfully, although I had a great trip up there, it was a tough trip. Uh, we took a, a ride, Carl Byer and I jumped in the truck with our dogs. You've seen his dog, uh, Danny, the pointing lab, retrieving lab. She's kind of a, a sports utility dog, just kind of like my Gracie, the German short hair pointer. And we also met a buddy of ours, Joey Lowry from Atlanta. He took the trip from Atlanta and drove across the country and met us out there in Kansas. Uh, Hutchinson, Kansas. And the name of the place is Irish Creek Outfitters. It's Steve and Margie Westfall that operated. It's a great little place. It's about 40 miles, I'd say, to the northwest of Wichita. Uh, they've got a nice lodge there. He, what he does, Steve does have his own dogs, and he guides people on bird hunts. Pheasant is primarily what they hunt. But there's waterfowl hunting, there's turkey hunting, some outstanding turkey hunting that a lot of people don't know about Kansas, and also some very good deer hunting up there. He leases property from the farmers. Uh, he has his own property, and he offers you a lot of options when you come up there. We like to go because we have our own dogs. We don't need a guide. He just gives us the, the place to go and tells us where to go and what we're going to find. Well, you know, y'all really, to be honest, y'all caught perfect weather the first few days y'all were there. First couple of days was very nice. Everything went smooth. On the third day, my dog Gracie came back with a, a deep laceration on her leg all the way to the bone. So she got to meet a very nice veterinarian up there and took care of her. With her on IR, we were down to two dogs. We were hunting at the fourth day and the final days we hunted, it was near zero. Wind chill factors were actually below zero. It was single digits. There was snow. There was ice on the ground. That's when the Wichita lineman came in. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd have saw the <laughs> Wichita lineman was sleeping in bed. We were out there laying in that goose field. Uh, we had two nice fellas, uh, Zach and, and, and Brock, uh, went out there and helped us set up with all their decoys. They had all the equipment. There was a flock of some 6,000 geese. Uh, roosting on a salt area, a salt lake, kind of a salt dome combination. And they were feeding in this field. We were in the farmer's field. There was uh, scattered corn that they had just left over from the harvest. There was also some wheat popping up in there, and they wanted that field. We brought them in. We ended up shooting greater Canada's. We shot lesser Canada's. There were speckle belly geese mixed in. We even got a few bonus mallards on the two days that we hunted. Laying out in layout blinds, freezing cold, 
Danny did the work there. We also did some pothole shooting. There's a lot of little ponds there. You wouldn't even think much of them here in Louisiana, but in Kansas, if they're not frozen, it's very likely there's going to be waterfowl there. You made a right decision coming back on the way you came back, too, because you would, might still be there. Well, you could still be there. We'll talk about the ice storm in a second, but I want to demonstrate and talk to people. You know, we have Labrador retrievers here in Louisiana, and, and hunting on ice is not an issue, but up there it is. And had Danny, Carl's dog, not been trained, he calls it banking your dog, where you teach your dog to stay along the bank. We had a pothole that had over 100 geese in it. They spent the night in there. They kept the center of that pond from freezing, but the whole rest of the pond was frozen. We did a jump shoot on them. We knocked down a goose. That goose was crippled, went back on that ice, and was trying to get into the middle. Well, if the dog would have went out there and fell off the edge of that thick ice into that open in that deep pond, I don't know if we've ever been able to get that dog out of there. Carl had complete control of his dog, and you'll see it. He held her off. He sent her around the bank. When the goose got to the opposite close side of the bank, he, he killed the crippled goose, sent the dog. She went slipping and sliding. She grabbed that big Greater Canada goose and, and slipping and sliding back. She probably figured out how to get a good grip on it and also keep her balance on the ice and brought it in. But again, the highlight, we got some good waterfowl action in, was pheasants. We do not have pheasants here in Louisiana. They've got some great pheasant hunting in the Dakotas. Kansas is another state. They've had some problems with numbers because of drought and other factors. They do supplement the population. But let me tell you, you can't tell a supplemented pheasant from a wild pheasant out there. They flat get after it. And it's great sport. It's easy walking. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of work. Uh, but we returned back with some pheasant. We had goose. How'd your we knee had make duck. it? Uh, the knee held up, you know. You, you had you your brace? You don't even think about that. When the cold's got you so miserable, you don't care about pain in your knee. No, it, it held up good, and we made the whole trip. And uh, congratulations to Carl and Joey uh, with their dogs. Do Jenny is, is Joey's dog. You'll see her. She's a German short hair like Gracie and, of course, the lab Danny. So that was it for the, uh, the Kansas trip. We'll be looking forward to going back. We're considering going back to do a turkey hunt. Because he's got a high success rate. He had 25 hunters last year, 24 killed, two turkeys each. Only one guy didn't, and he was probably sleeping. So. Wait, you think maybe you can, since it's that good, you can back get, with a get, turkey. Yeah, what do you think you get me a chance to go well, on that, while you're that, now, you, now you're stretching a little bit. We'd have to see about it. How about that. a Christmas <laughs> present? <laughs> I'll give you a Christmas present. Tofio Bourgeois and I got to cook some pool dew. We're going to show you how we did it right here on Paradise, Louisiana. Poodoo, I find out, is more of a, I'm going to say, a, a kid game bird because uh, they're easy to shoot. You know, they sometimes they swim right in your decoys or they come walking on a lily pad around right inside the barn. So the thing is, uh, a lot of guys won't go out and they really target them. You know, during the, during the holidays, we'll, you know, have to smother Poodoo and Southern or Gumbo. But uh, I find in the field, it's more, more kids enjoy that easy kill. Often confused for ducks, they're actually members of the rail family and their chicken-like beaks and legs live up to their reputation of the translation of the name Puldo or Puldu as the water chicken. And my favorite recipe appears in John Foltz's cookbook, After the Hunt. Ooh, look at the gizzard on that, Tofio. They give a chicken an inferiority complex. Look at the size of that. Not only good to cook with the Puldu, it's good for gumbo. And once you got them all cleaned, you put your season on, your favorite Cajun seasoning and your granulated garlic. Yeah, come back behind you for a little bit. All right, Tofio, now we got our chopped onion, bell pepper, and celery. Let's put a little bit of that in there and get it good and wilted. All right, get it all. Never have too much onion. Mm. <laughs> and up in there. Now, once those vegetables are wilted and getting a little brown, that's time to brown these birds. You want to brown them up real good. And while we're waiting for that, Tofio, how's that rice coming along? Pretty good. Woo, rice is ready. How's the wine holding up? Oh, I got half a glass. <laughs> Homemade blackberry wine. Now, once those birds are brown, then it's time to add some chicken stock and water to cover them. And then it's time to put the lid on the black iron pot, put them in our preheated 350 degree oven. Are you ready that to feel? All right, let's go with it. Four hours of drinking wine. Yeah. 
And it's gonna take somewhere between an hour and a half and three hours, and when those birds are falling apart, it's done. Two secrets to making delicious poldu. Number one, a black iron pot. And what's the other, Tofield? A little bit of homemade blackberry wine. So there you have it, the original free range bird. Ask me about my tempur Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. tempur owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. tempur the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. You watching Paradise, Louisiana. Introducing Powerade Ion 4, complete with four electrolytes lost in sweat. stores before heading fishing or hunting. We have more than you expect. Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. What's your name? That's it. Now I'm up. You ready to go? Yeah. Good luck. You gotta go, go. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, die. There you go. Oh, dear. 
You let him get off. We ain't gonna have no stop. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Oh, good job, buddy. Oh, oh, look at the out. He spit the hook out on you, buddy. Uh -oh. Got him just in time. Hey, baby. Oh, ta, 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 ta. Mark, you can do it. Yeah? Okay. Here, hold this up, hold this up, just like it. Okay, real. Yeah? Okay, get off. Oh, no, uh, da, 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 dick. <laughs> keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Ooh, keep reeling. Ooh, 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 ooh. Up in there. Oh, stop. Oh. There you go. So, you want to kiss him again? Oh, yeah. There you go. Are the boats catching fish, Colin? Yeah. Are you yeah. gonna catch one? Yeah, that's two, that's it. Why didn't you catch it? Yeah, that 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 there, hook, that there. That was Captain's fault? Yeah. Oh, my fault. Come on, break one, man. Dance for me, fist. Hey! Oh, look what color he is. Boy, he's pretty. He's a pretty one. Look at that. Tell me what kind of fish that, Nathan. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. That's a speck of mouth. Big fish. There you go, Captain. Captain Lane has the bait. <laughs> the bait to catch as many fish as you're one. ready to catch. I think right there. Another little one. Oh, up and in, up and in. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, got There we go. Here, I get you. I get you. Yeah. Colin, hold it. Yeah, here, Colin, hold him for him. So, take your hand and hold it. No, no, ah, da, 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 da. Oh yeah. There you Ooh. go. Ah, I did e hook the deaf and pay. Alright, you gotta give him a name, Colin. What you gonna call him? The Ditty. No, not Ditty, the Dit. Uh we found out through Gina Lorio with uh, Miracle League. Colin plays baseball. Oh, he's, a, he's having a great time. He's, he's been on the water before, but this is uh, really the first time he's held the fish, kissed the fish, threw the fish in the box. You know, so he's having a good time. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, up, 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 in, 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 in. Fish, watch him, he's jumping. He's jumping all over. <laughs> oh, That's a lively one. Nathan, you ain't nothing but a winner, boy. Yes, indeed. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, Dad. Give me in the pole. <laughs> hey, Colin. Huh? Yes, sir. I had to sing that. Oh. Yes, sir. Uh, line truth. All right. Uh, put put him in the box. Open the box, man. Let's put him in the box. We're going to let that one go. There you go. Good oh. job. Yeah, all right. Way to go, man. Oh, Dad. <laughs> Hang on, Woo! Look at that. Wow! Yeah! Put the pole down, man. Wow! Look at that one. I did it! You did it by yourself, too. Hold that fish right there, babe. Hold the line right there. There you go. Right there. Oh, 
told me, and I heard the rumors, that at the pet rally last week, we sort of won a dance contest. Now, y'all know that that's my method. I like to dance and eat. Now, you and I are going to have a dance contest, and your mama got, uh, okay. this is going to be yours if you can be, but you got to beat me dancing first. This now, is the I, prize. All right? This you hold on. Put it back on, and you and I are going to dance. And we got some people from which to fish that are, that are going to judge. Are you ready? You ready to dance? You want to hold the mic or you want me to hold the mic? Or you just want to dance. You ready? Yeah. Well, Mama, you're going to lead us off. You just go ahead. You, you ready to start dancing? Ready right, you dance? dance. You dance and do your thing. You ready? Rock, 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 Come on, hurry. Okay, you're going to tell me. Go ahead and sing it. Rapper, 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 rapper,
just have a blast out there. They just like the boat ride, whether we caught any fish or not. And we caught we caught 17 nice trout today. And the kids caught a lot of them themselves. That's the best part. So that's what brings me back to watch these kids catch fish. Well, just to be out on the water with, with the kids. We're, we're blessed to be able to do this for a living. We spend a lot of time on the water. It's nice to be able to give back and uh, to take the kids fishing. They, they have a great time. They enjoy it. And uh, just, just our pleasure to, to give a little back and, and treat these kids, the sweetest kids in the world. And they had a great time. We caught some fish. And you know, just, just great to, to be able to give back and, and, and do a little something in return. What I enjoy about it is, is, is these a lot of these kids, they don't get a chance to do this. And it, it means a lot when you can put yourself away from your busy schedule to do something for somebody that really enjoys this. We were all fishing in a close proximity to each other and just listening to the kids hooping and hollering. You can hear them all across the pen and they were just having a great time. That's one, that's one thing I'm definitely going to remember. Just taking these kids fishing, it, it's the most marvelous thing that I could you know, do that I did this year. Just seeing the smile on their face and you know, whether it was on a boat ride, catching a fish, netting a fish, reeling in a fish, anything, you know, just seeing the, the smile on these kids' faces is just unbearable to me, you know, it really is. Uh, Humbling to be around these kids and, and see the emotions that they have and how excited they get just from what we take for granted, a simple little black drum or a little undersized rat red, you know, it just, these kids get completely excited and just overwhelmed just to have that fish on the line and fighting back and it was just outstanding man I really enjoyed it you know and being a father having one of my own and three stepchildren it kind of makes me appreciate more the blessings that I have of having four healthy children with with no kind of issues and um, it's, it's really a great feeling we'll be back again stay in touch more Paradise, Louisiana, and you can also catch some CT on. Huh? Absolutely, Big oh, Fish big TV fish. show, it's Channel 8. Coming on, that's, as a husband, you be watching the little Big Fish in Paradise, Louisiana. This is a paradise we have, and thanks again to Seaway Marine. Thank you, Thank you for letting me be involved. We build tires, but not tires like anybody else. We build Cooper tires for people, not just cars. People who are chauffeurs and shuttle pilots, heavy haulers and heavy hitters. More than what your Cooper tires can do, it's about what you can do with your Cooper tires. Life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Chandelier. From Venice to Vidalia, Bio World too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. When you're ready to really enjoy life at a slower pace, become a landowner. First South Farm Credit specializes in financing and refinancing land, but not just for farmers. They offer loans to purchase timber land, hunting and fishing, or recreational property. Their experience in land, timber, and loans set them apart from standard lending institutions. Contact a First South Farm Credit loan officer for more information. First South Farm Credit, a specialized rural land investment lender helping you realize your dream. of all the tools in your house. This could easily be the most dangerous, but it doesn't have to be. At Dimco, we can't stress this enough. Just keep it, and you, far away from power lines. Dimco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. And Gary, you had an opportunity to make a really special hunting trip at the place you call the Fort Barry Hilton, tell that's, me about it. That's my brother's in camp. Some people call it Bayou Catawba, Fort Barry Hilton. Uh, Brian Briggs has got, you know, they got leases around there. That's where Teal Lake is. And uh, 
Uh, used to call it pintail. <laughs> they call it different names, but uh, it's some of the best duck hunting from there all the way 71. Uh, you hear a lot of lodges and a lot of these business people got up 71, mm -hmm. they got lodges. So it's that flyway all the way up to Whiteville. And, and while we're talking about this, we're going to do a little duck report so we're going to come back and visit. And let me tell you something about these ducks. But I'm going to tell you some reports I've got, <laughs> not only from the report Barry Hilton, you know, my brother and them have been hit and missed, and a lot of people have been killing on one part of this mm -hmm. big old bean field that's flooded, you know, in the woods or in Teal Lake. It, it's, it's, it's hit or miss. But everybody's been killing ducks. Sometimes they limit it out. Sometimes they don't kill but 10, 10 or 12. I don't think anybody has struck out. But the strangest thing, I got a call, and I got a, a text with a picture of some ducks coming from Randy Young that hunted with Todd Graves and I yeah, over there in, in uh, Pecan Island, a couple of units. He was hunting Whiteville. He sent me a picture at 18 ducks, the limit. Guess what? Two teal, 16 spoonbill. So I told my brother and them they were hunting this past weekend after we hunted, I said, get ready. We killed we a couple of spoonbill. I said, get ready, you can give them have an influx coming down 71 and coming down Y'all ought to be killing some spoonbill, but it didn't happen. But uh, I, two people I know were hunting in that area, killed the majority of ducks of spoonbill. Again, you talk about pool duke and cooking pool duke. I have yet to find out anything bad about a spoonbill. I've ate them every kind of way, gumbo, wrapped breast. I have never got people say, oh, some of them, it depends on where you kill them. Well, yeah, you know, you hear I'm the same thing. It tastes I'm like fish. I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with spoon no, it's as good it's as the grain or, or any other puddle. He, he got a big, ugly mouth, but I'm a, <laughs> he look ugly. He got some beautiful colors, you know, and, and they they yep. save a many a hunt. Please don't put down on spoon bill. Don't beat that. Hokey guy, John, doesn't like a spoon bill. He, he won't even shoot him. He won't even look at him. Well, hunting yeah. with my brother and them, and here's a hit or miss. I got, I told you again, we, we, we got Duke Landry in there from Don Seafood. Mm -hmm. I got uh, a guy I worked with for years and years in the mayor's office. Right now he's running the Department of Public Works in the city of Central David Ratcliffe. My brother Sammy cooking in the blind. And he got that big old blind, uh, comes from uh, Kirk's, Quirks, I'm sorry, say that right. In Washington, Louisiana, Alabama, Opelousas, this guy makes these blinds and and they're, they're outstanding. They got two dog boxes. They got places for stoves. And it, it's, it's four or five man blind. It's just unbelievable. So Sammy loves doing that. He loves entertaining. He doesn't have chances and presidents and universities. And he just loves it. He goes out there. And that's why we call it the Port Bear Hilton. He got a camping trailer. And they started out with just a tent, you know, with a fire barrel. And now they got, you know, they got a kitchen, an outdoor kitchen. But they still got that camping trailer, there's no bathroom, you know, not even the one in the trailer is used. They have a latrine, an outhouse. Mm -hmm. That's legal, state health department. That's it. So if you got to go to a trailer, we got a latrine, or you go in the woods. So this is a fun part to be in there. It's a fun tribe. My brother loves it doing it. Here we are. There's some scenes and sights from Poor Bad Hilton. Hunting safety rules, Tr treat all weapons as though they're loaded. Uh, never travel with a, with a loaded gun in, in your motor vehicle. Never point a gun at anything that you don't want to shoot. My dad used to say that all the time. Always know the location of your partner and your dog. That's real important. Establish shooting zones to fire before shooting. Uh, Duke will take that one third. Gary, you and uh, David will take anything coming straight in. Y'all get the first birds and me and Duke will shoot the back of the flock. If they're coming from Duke's way, we'll pass up four or five and the same thing come from this way. Uh, Duke could call them from that, that way to start with, then we might just, just shoot, okay? Uh, never pass your firearm to another person until the chamber is open and you visibly check that it's unloaded. Never shoot over in front of your partner. We started a little thing last year. If you do that, if you ring somebody's ear, you unload your gun, it hunts over for you. Uh, avoid alcohol and drugs, we know that. Keep your safety on at all times until you're ready to shoot. The shotgun should never be held in one hand. When in doubt, don't take the shot. For, for your own safety, make others obey these rules. And then the next important thing is movement in the blind. 
we, we got to hold, don't hold, have your gun up, waving, keep it down, don't have a hand out. You know, it's watch the movement. And of course, we're going to all put face masks on when it comes to daylight. That's important, too. And that's about it. Let's have a good hunt, fellas. See what we can do. David, you got all that? I got it. I'm How many times you don't heard that? You don't hear it enough, huh? I hear it twice on every hunt. That's a good Take you too, but you That's did. That's right, I do. Yeah. 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 You and Coach, there you go. This is why I like to hunt with my brother. I got to put up with him fussing at me. Sometimes rightfully so. But this is why. Jerry Lee smoked sausage. Take that. Toasted bread. <laughs> you can't beat this. Even if we don't kill nothing, but we got a whole line of ducks right now. We're about five away from the limit. Stay tuned. You watching Paradise, Louisiana. I can't believe y'all brought me out in the blind and we ain't got no food. Man, I'm hungry. Don't worry, Gary. This will be over quick. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor, Raising Canes and Todd Grays, a real Louisiana sportsman and conservationist, with true aim and sure shot giving back to Louisiana. Good job, girl. That's a better retrieve than any duck. Canes, the official chicken of Louisiana outdoors. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change has been keeping cars and trucks in Baton Rouge clean and running smooth for over 50 years. At Benny's, we feature professional car washing, complete detailing, high-tech waxing and buffing, interior cleaning, and tire shine. Denny's, one stop for car maintenance with complete oil and lube services and even state inspections at our express location. Visit one of our five convenient locations, including our newest store on Greenwell Springs Road. And don't forget to stop by Be Quick Convenience Store and Fuel Stop. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Drive in dirty, drive out clean. Hey guys, John here. I want to tell you about two new exciting products on the market from Louisiana Fish Fry Products, number one selling fry and batter in the country. First is the Cajun Fry, it's spicy. It has a great blend of cornmeal and corn flour, the right texture, the right flavor, and good heat. The other is a beer batter, wonderful on shrimp, onion rings, mushrooms, and any white fish. Two great products available today. Go out and get them from Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Enjoy them. Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance doesn't hire celebrities to push auto coverage. We think people might like to make decisions based on service and savings, not just because that guy from that show says it's a good idea. Instead of faces you know from your TV, we offer faces you know from your neighborhood. Because we're based in Louisiana, with local agents right in your town. That's really the only thing we want to be famous for. Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Real service, real people. Welcome to the news section of Paradise, Louisiana. And, Gary, we've got a couple of big, big announcements to make this morning. Well, I guess the biggest one is coming from 
Catastrophe uh, National Forest. I don't know if you all saw it in the paper and it's been all over the news item. Uh, no longer dog hunting. That mm. dog, dog hunters lost out for deer now. I, mm. I don't know what the rest of it was. I meant to talk to Amy and, and some of those people up there that know it. But by the way, I've talked to Amy. The good news is one of the best deer season going right now, not only deer season, but, uh, but other animals, small animals, uh, Castaches right now, the hunting opportunities are outstanding, all the way from, you know, the northern part of Castaches down to over the Pineville area. It is unbelievable what you're saying of deer are being caught. And, uh, and in fact, I think you're going to be making I'm a trip. I'm going to be trying soon. to make a trip up there. It's amazing how many people don't take advantage of a real treasure in Louisiana is that immense uh, area known as the Kasachi Forest for its beauty and its diversity in both fishing and Have you seen and some hunting. of those deer? Oh, that, it's incredible. So they're running them hills and everything. It must be like weightlifting or something. They're on steroids. <laughs> there was some mules in there. Uh, that's uh, Kasachi National Forest. You can check them out on the web. There's a lot of information there. It's a user-friendly website to help you find campgrounds and cabins and all the activities that go on. The other good news we got was down south on the other end of the state near Grand Isle. Right now, the Elmas Islands open back up again, uh, starting from Kamenata mm -hmm. all the way east of Fouchon. So, you know, go back. And there it is. Just open up. Uh, get you some waders. Go out there and then fish off the back. There's definitely going to be redfish running out on there, I'm sure. Yeah, and uh, you can check it out on the website, Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries. Uh, they said what parts are open, but I don't know of any part that's really closed. But just to be on the safe side, check it out. But the vast portion of it is reopened for activities of fishing and going out there and spend some time on that beach. Well, let me tell you what, it's too much to run. We're going to try to run some on the screen. You know, we, we're in a split right now, but mm -hmm. most of the, all the duck seasons will be opening up on December 14th and running from times into January. So check it out. Also with the deer hunters, you know, check out the paper, check out the website. It's, sometimes it can be really complicated of what duck season, what hunting seasons in general are open. Well, you know, we got woodcock season getting ready to open up too. Well, That's you ought here. to be happy. We got, yeah, we got the duck season and waterfowl and all three zones will be open again. Plus the rut in a lot of areas. I know the area I hunt, area four. Uh, the rut's going to be kicking in, so time to get out there and be on your stand if you haven't done it yet. So you got a lot of things to pick from. And when we come back, we're going to give you some more options because it'll be the Paradise, Louisiana, Abu Garcia, Berkeley Fishing Report. Coming up next on Paradise, Louisiana. Come to the family-owned and operated Cassius Casino in Port Allen today, where the Vegas-style video poker machines are ready for your entertainment. Cassius Casino is the finest, cleanest, classiest casino around. And Cassius 50-style diner is now serving seafood daily, along with your favorite home-cooked specials 24-7. Hey, Cassius is fun. Cassius is exciting. So come to the unsinkable Cassius Casino in Port Allen. Over the river, two miles west of exit 151. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Introducing Powerade Ion 4, complete with four electrolytes lost in sweat. Powerade Ion 4, the complete sports drink. Hey guys, John here. I want to tell you about two new exciting products on the market from Louisiana Fish Fry Products, number one selling fry and batter in the country. First is the Cajun Fry. It's spicy. It has a great blend of cornmeal and corn flour, the right texture, the right flavor, and good heat. The other is a beer batter. Wonderful on shrimp, onion rings, mushrooms, and any white fish. Two great products available today. Go out and get them from Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Enjoy them. When you shop for health insurance, you'll find Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana everywhere. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. We got a blue for Louisiana, we got you covered. Lake Charles, North Brown, Shangaloo. From Venice to Vidalia, Bio too. No matter where you are, you're covered through and through. Every parish, every zip code. We got a blue. Welcome to the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And Gary, I've been in Kansas for a whole week. 
did get a few fishing reports on my radio show from my field reporters. For the most part, I'm kind of learning what's been going on. We had a frontal system pass through last weekend, kind of hung in through the middle of the week. What's it look like? Well, I, like I said, because that frontal system will happen, but I was fishing uh, with Thursday down in Lafitte, and you can see right there with the fish. It was 30, 40 boats in there, the fall run of trout are coming into the pen. There was a lot of people catching fish. I'm hearing the same thing from all the lakes like that, the small lakes, little lake. Uh, they're catching fish all the way up into the COVID leaf, you know, mm -hmm. out in that area, across from, the, from, from Lafitte. Uh, Leeville, Leeville is extremely hot right now. I talked to people that had taken their vacations during Thanksgiving. They were all catching limits of trout early by 9 o'clock. They're looking for birds. And they're catching fish. Uh, they catch them in their small lakes and then going back in the marsh, they're catching redfish and catch the biggest spe specks in the marsh. So that's Leeville. Then I'm here in Decade, Bayou de Lords. But I'll tell you about the Lords, they're catching bass, redfish, and speckled trout. You just have to pick them out, go where you finish, find clear water. Uh, and nothing, nothing on offshore. I ain't heard a word offshore, but I do know that that people are all catching tuna mm -hmm. when it lays down. It was a beautiful day. It was a lot of fog, so you knew it wasn't no wind when we went with, with the kids. So, but when you get down that Mississippi River, let me tell you what, that cold water is moving down there. I haven't get first-hand report from Venice last week. Before I was telling you, anywhere you go, you was catching fish. Don't make that run out there until you get some reports. You know, don't count on me, don't count on anybody else, but I'm going to tell you right now, Venice should be slacking off right now, you know, in the spillways and all those places because that cold water's coming in, you got a rise coming in the river. Well, some so. of the areas I can, I can add to your saltwater report that aren't as badly affected by the Mississippi River, Hopedale Lagoon has been on. Some of the traditional winter-type fishing spots, Baker's Bay and Delacro has produced a little bit, and so has Peach Lagoon and Muscle Bay coming out of Shell Beach, Hopedale. That area's been good there, too. Now, whether this is going to hold true following that front, this happened before the front, but Todd Masson and Jeff Brule went out in the Lake Pontchartrain. Midway along the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, didn't catch a lot of fish, caught about 15 fish, but all of them in the three-pound range. So if it's big trout you're looking for, the winds are down, Lake Pontchartrain Causeway might be a good shot. Yeah, Ronnie LaHoss also called me. He and I was talking about Pontchartrain on the south end. And uh, by, and by the way, he sent some pictures of some fish that are being caught right there. Also looking for the birds in that area. I, I never heard of that, fishing in the lake and looking for birds, but they are. He says another thing he was doing with the coastal zone open back up around the 14th and there, uh, they're killing ducks right there. He said they got more ducks this year than they ever had. So, Ronnie, thanks for that report. Uh, you know, you know we, we're talking about these fish, and we're talking about Leeville. You should get a lot of reports from there from Dow Carpenter, I know. Mm -hmm. But I used to fish Leeville. I used to fish Golden Meadow, all those there. I had a lease, the Tidewater lease. You know, I hear stuff coming from the sulfur mine. All those historical places right now, these lakes are catching fish. Round Lake, Lake Infirma, mm -hmm. they're catching fish right now. If you can get on, even when it's windy, you get on the lee side. But if you, if it's not real bad, you want to get on the windy side for the redfish. And you can be fishing redfish in against the bank, and you can fish in specks on the outside. And I hear that's the same way it used to be in, in the Zalmas, in the, I mean, uh, Salvador and all those areas. Well, let's get on the fresh water. I know Gary Krause popped in here a little while ago and set it down in the basin. That water's falling out of the Chafalaya. Had been the lowest it's been, but I believe we got a rise coming, so you got to kind of watch it if you fish. rise up. coming on the Mississippi. I, the Chafalaya is holding steady, but these north winds and these fronts going to blow it out anyway. You better be real careful. He says, Gary says, and the bass fishermen that are fishing, mm -hmm. saying, it, and it's hit or miss, but look for the dead end canals right now. Look for the cleanest and the warmest water you can. The sun comes up, look for them grass beds. All right, Jeff Brewer said Pearl River kind of off right now until that water drops out and clears there. Uh, Bayou Liberty, Bayou Lacombe, not quite so bad. Uh, as far as down in the other freshwater areas like Delacro, <coughs> Carnarvon, I'm not getting a lot of reports there. You hearing anything from anybody? No, no but uh, no, well, you definitely the Lord, the Delacro. I know them people that have been looking for them mm -hmm. bass, but they, they still hung up on trout. I don't know where all they're catching them, but catching trout. I hear things coming from Oak River, the same thing. You know, the people, so many people are catching fish. Down in the Lake Charles area right now, uh, the Mumatar River, 
You know, them people out there would have been duck hunting, they're fishing that moment at all. They're getting on certain banks and they're catching a redfish. Mm -hmm. They're getting one spot, they're fishing dead shrimp on the bottom and they're catching redfish. Also, sometimes when they're fishing that dead shrimp, they're catching catfish, good catfish, freshwater catfish. So, you know, what else I can tell you? Me and Gary have been wondering about the, the flounder run. You know, we done made some great flounder runs right there this time of year, starting from October all the way to Christmas. The flounder run, I guess you just got to pin on the tide, especially in the ship town. The ship town, if the tide's going out, you want to be fishing on the, on the west side, tide coming in, you want to be fishing on the east side. All right, well, I guess that's about going to wrap it up for our fishing information. Uh, don't forget, send your pictures of your latest catches and kills to Gary at Paradise, Louisiana. And before we go, Eli Haydell. I think it's time we dedicated this program to him. If you haven't heard the passing of Eli, our, our condolences to his family, uh, his sons, Kelly and Rod, who will continue with that business, Haydell's Game Calls. Uh, the guy was nothing but a, a prince to me, uh -huh. helped me along in my career. He came up with the gray duck call, uh -huh. that teal call that so many people have continued to use over the years. Well, you know, and uh, I've learned a lot about him years ago because we did a thing for him uh, on Channel 2. You know, we just called the ducks, and we had tame ducks working around and did it joking. But a lot of people don't know he's a tremendous musician. He's in the mm -hmm. Musicians Hall of Fame, the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, too. So uh, he should be in the Hall of Fame everywhere we know. Don, one last thing, too. When you're talking about fishing reports, go on that website to Lita Ben, you know, and then you go to that parish. I'm thinking about it right now. I can't think about it. But Sabine go on to Lita Ben's website and go ahead, and you get some real up-to-date. They sent them to me sometime. I didn't get nothing last week, so that's why I forgot. But don't forget that website. And, again, Ryan and Kelly, I can those and your mom. All right, got lots of options. It's uh, holiday season, it's football playoff season, and all your hunting seasons. And, of course, we got good fish in 12 months a year right here in Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana, with Gary Responi and Don Dubuque. Paradise, Louisiana, would also like to thank these sponsors. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Team, Cracker Barrel Convenience Stores, we have more than you expect. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Louisiana, Farm Bureau Insurance, Louisiana Fish Fry Product, Chemco, First South Farm Credit, Area Wholesale Tire Company, Tire Programs for Tire Dealers.